everyone, and welcome back to Realms and Roleplay, Sovereign of Death. So, where we left off, our band of heroes had gone to confront Representative Churlish Schwan Virgil in his office. However, he wasn't there, and sitting upon his throne was a dragonborn uh, shrouded in darkness and wearing a dark plated armor. Um as well as someone else uh, with large red wings who was by his side. Um, we're going to pick up right where we left off. So you all burst into the room and you see this dragonborn that stands and says, I've been waiting for you. Um, so when uh, you recognize this as the same dragonborn that was in the room when you spoke with Churlish before, one quick question. Um, the darkness that this one dragonborn has on them, is it the same darkness that uh, tries to flow into the uh, dragonborn that we killed before? Oh, that's an awesome question. Um, no, it is not. But it, I mean, I want to I wanna say that's awesome that you remember that, but it is, it is not, no. Um, so this dragonborn seems to Do have... Do I get a point of inspiration for connecting <laughs> the dots? Yeah, sure. You can have one. You have a point of inspiration for remember that. that. was like four episodes ago. You got it. Um, Armin's like, I'm going to wait. Let me go and like rethink this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, uh, you're facing this dragonborn, and uh, he says that he's been expecting you. And as he does... Um, the person next to him, uh, she sort of takes a um, piece of paper out from her side belt and she says, we have a decree here that says your mother, Lady Snapdragon, is conspiring against Broken Rock. We figured that you would want to discuss that with Representative Swan Virgil. However, he's not available, so you'll have to be talking to us. I don't even know who you are. That that said, we, when we came into the room, we saw these people, and it was a bad time. Is it too late for one or more of us to leave the room and thereby not be in this situation? <laughs> um, are you are you trying to stealth away, or are you just leaving? Just, I, I walk in, I see the situation, I evaluate it, I am reminded of the darkness pouring into the Dragonborn that nearly murdered us before. And my impulse is to walk back out again. This is gonna about. Yeah, They're you. just sitting on the throne. They're clearly <laughs> very comfortable there, just not be in this room. Yes, you can definitely turn around and leave if you'd like. I turn around and leave the room. Awesome. Martin. So as Martin <laughs> turns to leave, um, you see the dragonborn sits back down and he's like that's okay i was mostly wanting to speak with lady snapdragon the rest of you can return to your rooms i will not no okay. yeah we're, we're gonna stick around you're making you, me look bad i call you're out you're making you look yeah, bad exactly uh he sits back and he's like as you wish say what you must well, I feel this is a bit of an uneven playing field. You seem to know who I am, and yet we haven't been properly introduced. You don't know who I am? Do I know who he is? Uh, you can make a history <laughs> check. <laughs> um, so, uh, Arya, you're from Broken Rock also, so you can make uh -huh. a history check. Okay. Is your real dad win? No! <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> Twelve? Okay. Yeah, I got a nine. You have no idea who, this part, who he is. Um, <laughs> I, I've got a really high history bonus, but since I'm out of the room, I imagine I can't help with that. Yeah, apparently. I mean, you should have left. Yeah, you can't. Uh, so, um, can I prepare an action while I'm in the hall? Yeah, go for it. What would you like to do? <laughs> stuff, if stuff pops off, I want to fire a fireball directly at that. Uh, <laughs> at the I'm gonna need you, you to mean def into define. the room that we're all standing in. It's there at the far end of the room from you, okay? Don't go by the throne. Ain't nothing bad gonna happen. Define stuff popping off. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, 
to pop off is if things, if one of or more of my friends is attacked by these extremely powerful entities who outclass us, I want to look through the door. I want to see what's happening. I want to evaluate the situation. And I want to shoot off a fireball right into the room. Just like go really hard at it. Prepare that. <laughs> well, I'm going to say that if combat breaks out, you've prepared the action to cast fireball. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And so um, the... If I catch on fire, Martin, we're going to have it out. <laughs> um, if any of the three of us catch on fire. So the person next you're, you're, to... You're, the you're setting me up for failure. I'm just going to be honest. I am not. You are setting yourself up. Where is it? Oh, jeez. See, I, I think I'm being clever because I'm like, I'm going to put these in order. But then I'm like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> it's all wrong. In order? <laughs> Are we rolling for initiative? Or... No. Um... <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it, it would be very dangerous to fight these people, I think. Oh, there it yes, is. Yes, I think so too. Just prepared a fireball. Also, they're dragons. I don't know if fire's going to do anything, but whatever. Oh, oh shoot. Here it is. I... I can unprepare fireball, right? Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> uh, so, so one of them is a dragonborn, uh, and he's a white dragonborn. Um, the other person is not a dragonborn. Um, you are not. You can make a, a, a history check, I guess, to see if you know what type of dragon a white dragon is. Oh. The other person, though, she's got wings, and does she appear to look like a dragon? Uh, she no, does she... not look like a dragon. She looks human in the face. Uh, but she has horns and uh, giant wings. Got it, got it. Super different. Okay. Arya, um... you look bird in the face. (laughs) 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 Uh, Okay, anyway. um, It's a shame that Mox is bad, because, like, he's also got a beak. You have so much in common. (laughs) Uh, so the the person with the white dragonborn, she steps forward and she says, uh, I am Skuldana Tyrannica, and you are in the presence of royalty, so show some respect. Um, <clears throat> the the uh, dragonborn smiles and she says, this is Bathos Tyrannica. He is a hero. He's the one who made Broken Rock what it is thousands of years ago. They have they have tyrant in their name. Yeah, <laughs> I mean Tyrannica, but I mean maybe the root word tyrant inspired the name. Who knows? I don't know. You can make a history check to find out. Not really though. No. <laughs> 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 um, He's like, don't do that. <laughs> so, you're looking great for a thousand. I have an excellent skincare program, <laughs> um, and uh, the uh, Skuldana, she. Uh, walks over to you and she says it seems like we got off on the wrong foot uh, uh, Bathos yeah. and I are here because there is going to be a summit with all of the leaders it seems that the state of the world is changing rapidly and the only way we can get through it is together are Keith and Anne and the other Keith's friend Called around. Also, still in the room. Yeah, they're still here. They're just... Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't imagining that. No. I wanted backup in case we had to murder someone. They're all here. Um, so yeah, she she gets really close to you when, and as she does, uh, you can see that um, she has a destined pin uh, on her armor, and uh, she says. Your mother is jeopardizing everything that we're building. What are you building? And also, where's the representative? I don't know who you two are. And from where I'm standing, this looks like a coup. (laughs) As you say that, Bathos stands and he's like, I can assure you there is no coup. However, it is not, how do I say, your concern. What? That's what someone playing a coup would say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you see that uh, Skuldana looks at you, Arya, and she says, um, interesting that you would suspect us of planning a coup. We heard that one 
amongst you was speaking with the insurgents? I suspect everyone of everything pretty much all the time. She turns away and heads back to where <laughs> Bathos is. Um, he's, he looks at you and he says, um, if you don't wish to speak to us, we can s- arrange an audience with Representative Swan Virgil for you. Where is he now? Because as far as I'm concerned, there's a ticking time bomb until my mother gets executed. Your mother will face the consequences for her actions. Murdering my mom. She is not being murdered. She is being tried and executed for her crimes. It sounds like murder, but with extra steps. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like there's no due process here. I step in. I mean, because... Uh, <laughs> What about innocent until proven guilty? You all are just, everybody keeps saying she's going to be convicted and going to be executed. So, like, it's just, like, I know we're supposed to have a democracy here. Are you in disguise right now, or are you, like... No, I'm not. You're you're right in your human form? So, mm-hmm. in an instant, like, uh, Bathos is sitting in the chair, and then he, like, is right in front of you. He, like, teleports right in front of you. He's grabbing your face, and he's, he can like... teleport? A human... Excuse me, get your hands off of me, please. Uh, he lets your face go, and he's like, I haven't seen your kind in a while. Did you I've never seen humans? your kind. <laughs> what, Arya, did you, what, did you ask him if he killed all the humans? When did. When, when you said that? Did you say that to him for real? Why? Well, he was... Okay, no, like, he's not. Probably no, not, no, so but he you, was... You say I did you kill say all the it. humans, and he, yeah, uh, he looks it, at so. you. Just I feel like the blurting rule has to be consistent here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, I said it. He looks at you, and, <laughs> and he's like, uh, I killed those who needed killing. Oh, oh boy. How oh! <laughs> you just hear outside the door. Dang. So, uh, uh, Martin, in the hallway, um, can you make a perception check? Yes, I can. That is a 21. Awesome. So you see um, Captain Skip Glider is um, coming down the hall with a battalion of soldiers. And um, they're headed toward uh, your direction right now. He sees you. So I've, so I've just got these fiery hands prepared, and I'm just seeing him come towards me. Yeah. Hey, fellas. Uh, he looks at you uh, with a how, how large is the battalion? It's about six or seven people with him. That sounds like a squad, but continue. So he, <laughs> he looks at you, uh, and he... Uh, do you debate the merits of a battalion with him as he walks by? <laughs> is he... Oh, he's trying... Is he trying to walk into the room? He's he's walking toward the room, uh, so he would have to walk past you to do that. So, so I, I, I step forward, and I'm like, hey, fellas, uh, is this a battalion or a squad? Because you don't look happy to see me. Uh, you see, he looks around, and he's like, I don't see any members uh, of the representative family here, so, yes, I'm not happy to see you. I'm quite displeased at the side of your face, actually. You need to stand aside. Do you dislike me personally? I dislike you on a physical and mental and emotional and ethereal level. And everything about your being. And you see that the guards kind of start to continue to march forward. uh, And he just kind of ignores you. Hold up. Magic trick. (laughs) Okay. Uh, I want to uh, cause my... I want to do a cantrip. Uh, I want to cause my thaumaturgy to go. Uh, I manifest a minor wonder, sign of supernatural power within range. I want to have my voice boom up to three times as loud as normal for one minute. Okay. Uh, Listen to me. Listen here to me, Skip Glider with seven soldiers. You will afford us with the proper respect as heroes and as members of a, as members of the social structure of Broken Rock. Do you know who I am? I want to roll Persuade on this dude. Go for it. Uh, Roll Intimidate. (laughs) Intimidate, okay. 
Uh, I, I, I say you are a you're a large lizard with a cheap badge, uh, and I rolled a seven to back that up, which is not much. <laughs> uh, so as you say that, um, he bares his teeth at you and gets like right up in your face, and he says, well, "This lizard is going to slit your throat." Uh, and the the uh, soldiers um, sort of circle in around you. And we're gonna cut back to the room where everyone else is. You all are in the room. You hear Martin's booming voice, and then uh, it's, it sounds like things have calmed down for a moment, so you're not really sure what's happening. Um, Bathos no. uh, turns to uh, Skuldana and he says, enough of this, this is, a waste of time. A churlish's problem. And uh, he turns and starts to walk away. Um, and uh, Skuldana turns to like head out the back entrance of the room. No, you said you were waiting for me. What gives you any authority to be in here sitting on the representative's chair? Uh, he ignores you and keeps walking away. I, uh, I take out my short bow and I hold it and I'm like, freeze where you are. Uh, okay, so you uh, pull your bow on him. Uh, he looks to you over his shoulder and um, he says, I see that treachery runs in the family. By what authority are you in here? As a citizen of Broken Rock, I demand to speak to my representative. And you yourself said you were waiting here for me, and now you're just going to leave? I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Where is the representative? Can we, like, cross our arms and look tough? And be like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm going to put my hands up and be like, listen, she's upset. Her mom... You understand how you would imagine how you would feel if your mom were being held and everybody's going to say they're going to kill her. We just we just really need to talk to the representative. Uh, OK, uh, you see that um, Skuldana uh, glares back at um, Bathos and he kind of motions her ahead. And so she leaves. He turns to you and he says, as I mentioned before, I am here because my place is here. This is a kindness that I shall not give you again. Either you will leave or I will make you. That's not an answer to any of my questions. Uh, when could you give me a constitution saving throw, please? I'm doing, I'm struggling. <laughs> A con save. Mm -hmm. 14. Awesome. So, um, Sounds awesome. One second. Um, <laughs> uh, this happens every time. Yeah, I just, I don't, I need to buy more. I, I cannot more. right now. You did no! buy more. I know, and it's still not enough. It's wild. Okay, hold on. We just gosh. wanted to question our elected officials. This should be normal. Please. Uh, when? Uh, so he uh, looks at you and uh, he I said... Die instantly. He says, um, I gave you a chance. Uh, he raises his hand towards you and this eerie mist shoots out of his hand and hits you and you take 48 points of damage 48 well i mean i'm not alive right now but i don't think i'm i'm not insta dead and that's the important part well what's uh what's your max hp 28 so i'm not insta dead well but i'm very close <laughs> Okay. To have been instantly how, killed. Wait, how is that? I don't get it. So he he cast a um, a seventh level spell and attacked uh, Wynn. Um, so 
he blasts Wynn uh, with this wave of dark energy and you can see the life force just be sucked out of your friend's body and uh, Wynn is unconscious. So we're going to do something different here. You have some options. So you can either initiate combat, you can uh, run away, or you can do nothing. Um, okay. So everyone needs to decide together. I have a question before we go forward, So because I don't understand this part. So if she has 28 HP, but she takes 48 damage, how is she not insta-dead? Uh, because the magic of me bending the rules. <laughs> no, 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 I would need to... In order to be instantly killed, I would need to take my max HP, like, negative. So if he had done 56 damage, I would have been instantly killed by his. Because the okay. leftover damage would have been the equal to my total HP. Yeah. Uh, so this okay. spell has an effect that if you hit zero, the effect happens. But we're not going to do that because it's the eighth episode. And that's not going to happen right now. So, uh, <laughs> so normally, worse things would happen. Yeah. So so when is is uh, incapacitated. And um, you have the choice of either fighting or running or doing nothing. Um, so what would you all Wait, like to do? Does Wait, Martin does... trigger? Uh, so yes. If, so if, if we initiate combat. If combat is initiated, there's a fireball trigger. Um, however, uh, there's a secondary conflict in the hallway that I want to jump to. In the hallway, okay. Martin. So you provoked... Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Dur Dirge Skip Glider, Captain Skip Glider, and um, he is going to uh, attack you. Um, so he is going to. Oh, okay. Uh, does a eighteen hit your AC? Uh, my AC is nine. And that. Listen, this dude is very insecure, and that's not my problem, except for when he's trying to stab me. <laughs> so, um, he is... Oh, actually, I can't roll the dodge or anything? Uh, no. So, so you can take the dodge action on your turn, and what that means is when somebody attacks you, then they'll attack with disadvantage. Um, mm -hmm. If you have abilities like shield or something like that that count as reaction, then you can use those abilities. You can use reactions to prevent yourself from taking damage. Um... I have, there's one reaction I have. There's only one. <laughs> Which is? It's a uh, hellish rebuke. You can, you can most certainly do that. Um, he's still going to hit you, but you can most certainly do hellish rebuke. Um, Point my finger. Uh, so he, he, what is he hitting me with? So he is going to... Um, stab you with his trident this is his first of three attacks so you can use a reaction once you have one reaction but the other two attacks are going to hit you without you being able to react okay this is the one this is the one thing i can really do uh so he stabs me with the trident i step backwards i say i did not roll high enough to uh for for any of that to work and that's your problem. So I point towards him and I uh, I point my finger and the creature that damaged you is momentarily surrounded by hellish flames, which because we're very close in, he's boxed me in with his dudes. I assume that affects them as well. Uh, and the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. He rolled a there's two. There's a whole lot of fire that's about to fill this hallway. Yeah, so he rolled a two. Uh, <laughs> it's a dex save of 14. Awesome. And so that is... 3d10 uh, damage. Hellish Rebuke isn't an area of effect ability, right? So it would just affect him. I mean, depends on how we're doing the role-playing thing of this, but we've got a whole bunch of people, and if he's surrounded by flames, it's it's not going to not have an effect on this immediate vicinity. I'll tell you what. If you use your inspiration point, I'll let you use Hellish Rebuke as an area of effect this one time inspiration point let's do it okay awesome so um you get oh hold on let me roll his other attacks that hits that hits 
regret everything. <laughs> Why did you draw your bow? I wanted answers to my questions, which I feel was a very reasonable thing to want. So, uh, weaponized it. Martin, he stabs you with his trident, and um, you hellish rebuke. Flame uh, erupts up his trident, and a giant um, explosion happens in the hallway, engulfing him and you and all of his oh, men. No. Um, and roll damage for your hellish rebuke. Fifteen. Awesome. So he takes 15 points of damage. Um, his men are disintegrated. Um, yeah. And it's just the two of you remaining. Um, <laughs> and this is smoking. Uh, he we just got smoke trailing off of us. Snarls now. at you, takes his trident out, and hits you two more times with it. Um, and does a total of 33 points of piercing damage. Yeah, that is, uh, that's going to knock me down to being unconscious, Chief. Awesome. So in a blaze of glory, uh, Martin is knocked out. Um, so you all in Does the it room... set anything else on fire? I would like, I'd feel better if uh, a whole lot of stuff got set on fire if in the process. Sure. So I'll say like, we you got know, tapestries. This is an ornate building. The, the hallway is definitely singed and some of the flags and um, accoutrement thus decorating the hall has definitely been burned um, so in the room uh, you are not aware to what's happening in the hallway but you hear a loud explosion um, at this point Bathos is turning to leave so Mady and Arya uh, what would you like to do okay you Dude. gave us three options yes I mean but you can always like... do other stuff too <laughs> okay you, that's it... what I wanted to know yeah, you, you might be able to, like, you li let him leave, and you just, like, heal Wind, just pour some potion down her throat, just take care of Wind. I want to make sure Wind is okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. My poor, my poor child. <laughs> so what would you like to do? I feel like we should get the fuck out of here. Because yeah. even if we get her that potion, right, if we don't leave the vicinity, we're all just going to get demolished yeah so i do have the i i do have the hole you you want to use the hole really badly but he's just gonna appear it sounds like he just wants to leave the room if he's just leaving but we don't know what's going on with martin outside Speaking okay as martin it's it's not a good time yeah all right so then can i pick win up uh, yeah, you certainly can. All right, I pick up Win. If Win was conscious, she would consent to your picking her. First. Okay, and <laughs> and we we get at do you, Aria. You want to go? Yeah, I guess we would dash back into the hallway, which is on fire. So maybe we take a minute at the doorway. Well, it's not it's so, not like there, it's it's singed and burned, but it, there's not the hall's not on fire or anything. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, then yeah, Aria. Let's. You want to just like. Yeah, so there is an enemy in there too, and Martin. So once you, you don't know that yet, the hallway, you yeah. see uh, Captain uh, Skip Glider there, uh, standing over Martin, who is unconscious, uh, and Martin has a uh, a trident wound in his side. Oh, a bunch of trident wounds! This dude stabbed me three times. Uh, he stabbed you once to hit you twice. Uh, but yeah, okay. so so Martin is unconscious. Captain Skip Glider is there. Uh, he sees you carrying uh, Win, and he says, um, "It looks like things got a little out of hand." Yeah, I I, I don't really know. We met some. It was not churlish in there. I don't know what's going on, but we're just gonna take her back to her room and let her convalesce okay can we can we grab martin too sorry for everything we did can we just like go uh so as you're gonna you let this dude live say you want to take martin he stands in front of martin's body and he's like the only reason i'm letting you leave is because her family holds some semblance of power as long as her mother's alive but this one stays with me yeah i can't let you do that you don't work that way uh, you see he uh, readies his trident to fight, and he's like, then you leave me no choice. 
Okay, I put Wynn very gently down on the ground and I get out my hammer and I attack him. Awesome. Go ahead and roll an attack. 18. An 18 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, let me see what that is. My uh, hammer, 1d8. Wait, what's that? Nothing, go ahead. Okay, so, oh, it's hit plus 6, right? So, my 18 plus 6, mm-hmm. is that right? Okay. That's that's what you rolled to hit, so you definitely hit, and go ahead and roll right. damage. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. So you got a 24. Okay, so it's, I, I just got a, I got a, okay, so I got a 3 plus 3, got a 6. Awesome. But, so, yes. I also get a second attack now. Awesome. Yeah, you do. Go ahead and roll your second attack. Okay. So, so D20 again, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. That one was a three, but it was a nine. So did I hit again? That one does not hit. Okay. Um, So you uh, come down with your hammer and clash against his armor, knocking him back. You come up for a second hit but uh, he's able to dodge it. And so now we need to roll initiative. Um, so our, our down folks, y'all are gonna roll initiative also. Um, and on your turn, you'll make death saves. Gotcha, I have a seven. Okay. One. A one? Okay. Nine. Okay. I used 18. to think like okay. seven, eight, nine. I thought these were all good numbers until uh, I guess we got this DM um, who has shown us <laughs> that numbers don't mean anything and we can always experience more pain. XOXO. Uh, so, um, Mady Wait. got a 15. Um, yeah. It was, Mady just went, um, it's Captain Skip Glider's turn. Um, he is going to attack you. Okay. Um, he's going to. Uh, He's been using his trident with two hands, so he's going to attack you with his trident again. Um, does a a nine hit your armor class? I have an armor class of eighteen. Awesome. So he tries to hit you with your with his trident, and uh, you are able to dodge it. And he tries to hit you again, but same deal. He's unable to connect uh, for his third attack. Um, he <laughs> oh, he said eighteen. 18? Yes. Okay, no, he's, he's not able to hit you at all. So he misses all three attacks as he swings at you, and the two of you are battling in the hallway. Um, and now it is Wynn's turn. So Wynn, Nice being the tank. <laughs> go ahead and make your first death save. How does 15. the death save work? Uh, so you roll a d20. If you get a uh, below a 10, it's a fail. If you get a 10 or above, it's a success. If you get three successes, Rad. you're stabilized. If you get three failures, then you're dead. Um, so one success for you. Awesome. Um, now it's going to be Martin's turn. So go ahead and roll a death save for Martin. That is a... Uh, is there any modifiers? No, or? flat d20. That's a two. All Oof. right. So one uh, fail, failed save for Martin. And now it's going to be Arya's turn. Okay. So, I'm going to go in with the quarterstaff, I think, and make an attack. Awesome. Uh, uh, ugh, god damn it, it's a one. That's okay. No. Um, so Don't use that dice anymore. Uh. <laughs> so, you uh, try to hit him with your quarterstaff, but his tail whips up and wraps around your staff and uh, deflects it. Um, and now we're going to go back to the turn order. Uh, it's Mady's turn again. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, right. Did you have something else? I can also make two attacks per turn. Oh, now. hey! Level five. Gonna... All right. Try again. I'm just going to try I'm just gonna try to hit him again. I'm just going to try it again. Ugh. That one's a 12. Uh, do you, what's a 12 plus what? Oh, well, 12 total. Oh, okay. oh no, wait. Actually, 13, because it's plus five now. Ah, I see. Uh, so no, uh, you you try to follow <laughs> no. up with the second attack, but he is able to block that one also. Um, I might stop using this die. <laughs> do you want to spend any key points, any bonus actions, anything like that? Not on this one. 
Okay. You, you don't have, don't you have unarmed strike as a bonus action? I have to land an attack to make it happen. Mm. Oh, wait. Actually, I don't. Slap it, him. <laughs> I have to use the attack action. Does it count if I don't hit? Uh, yes. So you're, you're, you're still using the action and just taking the chance that you'll hit. Great. So we're going to try one more. <laughs> we're going to try this one more time, you guys. Go for it. If it does not work, I need you to promise me that you're going to throw away that die. <laughs> <laughs> I crit failed on the digital dice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So are, was this an unarmed strike this time? Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, awesome. So you uh, he blocks both of your uh, quarter staff attacks, and you try to follow up with a leg sweep, but he uh, knocks you down to one knee, uh, stepping on the back of your leg. And we're going to go to the top of the turn order to... Yeah? I would this time like to go ahead and prepare a dodge action using a, a key point. <laughs> okay, so you're going to use a, a key point to uh, use a dodge action? What is a key point? So... It's Special, I get to use an extra specific action for a given number of points per turn until I run out. Okay. Where's so where's can... where's that found on the character sheet if you have that? I'm a monk, so you won't have it. Gotcha. Monk superpowers. But look in your actions section, that's where your specials are. Thank you. Alright, so at the top of the turn order is Mady's turn. Alright. I'm gonna try to hit him again with this hammer. Please please smash him. Well, I rolled a 17. Hey, that's, that's pretty Plus good. Plus six. There you oh. go. Hey, there you go. Uh, so you definitely <laughs> hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. By the way, I can add. I just <laughs> just give you the information as I'm finding it. So. Oh, no, it's all good. Um, okay. It's very dramatic. Okay. So, uh, and then, right, we're going to roll damage. Okay. Oh, I, okay. Six total. All right. Um, You're so, adding everything? Yes, that one was it added. So you rolled a six, and um, you hit him for six points of damage. So you bring uh, your hammer up and kind of uh, hit him in the bottom of his jaw, and he stumbles back a little bit. And as you all are scuffling, um, you see um, Anne take I, out. Oh. Huh? Oh, I was going to, yeah, I was about to ask about the NPCs because. Keith has been remarkably absent. <laughs> Calderon, my new tiefling friend, non-existent. Well, and I have a second. I have a second attack too. But right. like, as we're as I'm trying this first attack, something happens, right? Uh, no. So let's go ahead and resolve your second attack first. Okay. Two NPCs. Uh, another seventeen plus six. Awesome. So you hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Which, by the way, is twenty-three. Sorry. That's why we okay. call you Saria. Hey. <laughs> so it's, uh, so it's a, a, a four plus three, seven. Seven. Awesome. So you um, definitely do some damage this time, and uh, um, Dirge is not looking too good, but he's still up and ready to fight. Uh, so uh, Keith at this point takes out two uh, daggers. And uh, he stands next to you, and he's like, don't worry, I got your back, babe. Uh, and he is going to attempt to attack. And I, groan, going... I groan because I think he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he swings twice, uh, but misses uh, both times. And um, we're just going to... Let's say it's him. okay, you're still pretty. Uh, he winks I mean, at I you. I know you are half work, but... Um, so I'm going to pretty pretty insert but, I mean, what are you doing? He's like more tough than pretty. What? Half orcs can be pretty. What are you on yeah. about? Yeah, but or he's tough. He's his, he's named Knife Museum. He's not he's not calibrating for uh, social graces. He's got a few scars. Okay, so oh, scars. so judgmental Hot about scars. It's uh it's now going to be Dirge's turn. Wait, we need to know how attractive Keith is. Is on, he cute? On a is scale of one to ten, Keith is definitely an eight and a half. See? <laughs> yeah. Is he? No, but is he pretty? Is he pretty? That's uh, different. 
So that is different. As He's as very attractive. Keith is finishing uh, his attack, <laughs> you see a little bit of like uh, boy band hair is like coming down in his eyes, and he like He's flicks his hair. He's pretty. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of sweat glistening on his muscles. Um, Took eight episodes to learn <laughs> yeah, that Keith is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like somebody was being a little judgmental because he was half orc. Half orcs can be pretty. Get him. So uh, Dirge is so going to. Um, <laughs> Swing at Arya now, um, and does a 18 hit your AC? Uh, you have to roll with disadvantage because I dodged. That's right. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. And uh, does a 26 hit your AC? Fucking, yeah, of course it does. <laughs> Wait, how is that disadvantage? But it's the 18. Uh, yeah, it's the 18. Yeah. I was just teasing. Uh. It's, the, it's the 18. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, hold on a minute. <laughs> um, so he, he, he hits uh, with an 18 on his first attack. Um, on his second attack, uh, he hits with a um, 21. On his third attack, um, does a 9 hit? No. Okay, he misses <laughs> on the third attack. And uh, he is going to hit you for... Da, da, da. Oh, wait, I haven't had goggles on. That's what's been that's what that was it you, that's why you, di you didn't have the clear indication of future success uh exactly. he's gonna hit you for 18 points of damage <gasps> okay so right. um he comes back and like elbows you in the stomach and then uh hits you uh with his trident uh in a and bludgeoning manner and dirk can back up his uh vengeful pettiness with some real uh firepower huh <laughs> I mean, hey, he's the captain of the guard. So um, now it's going to be. I thought that was just a political thing. Anne's turn. Just... Uh, so Anne mm -hmm. takes out a bow. Uh, she moves to the far end of the hallway and is going to take That's a shot. Me. And she is going to hit. Um, so she connects for four points of damage. Uh. Of math. Uh, and then she's going to spend a key point to shoot again. And she hits for another four points of damage. Eight points of damage. Uh, Ain't bad. Awesome. Ain't bad. <laughs> uh, and then Eight we're going to go to Win. So <laughs> Win, it's time for another death save. 12, 12, 12. Awesome. So another uh, successful death save for Win, uh, And now we're going to jump to Martin. It's time for your second death save. Cal Calderon isn't doing anything? Uh, he is at the bottom of the initiative order. He's, I, I wow. Yeah, that's, that ain't good. Uh, 11. Awesome. Ah. So Ooh. one uh, successful death save for Martin. And now we're going to jump to Arya. What is Arya going to do? I'm going to try to hit him with my staff again. Awesome. Go for it. Does a 16 hit? Uh, a 16 does hit, yes. Uh, <sighs> it is about time. <laughs> Gotta have a heart, heart attack, attack here. here. It's a 1d8 plus 2. Uh, so 7 on the first hit. And then I'm going to try to hit him again. Awesome. We're gonna try the real dice this time. Do it. Because that felt weird. I didn't like it. Okay, there we go. Twenty, not natural. Um, awesome. Whew. You definitely and then did. Damage again. That one is six. Okay, awesome. And I can unarm strike too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. go for it. Yes. Let's try that one. Um, and that one is a fourteen. Uh, a fourteen does not hit. Darn. Um, but right. y'all are doing some serious damage to him. Um, cool. So, just um, with just, that, just kill him. Just let him die. Like, uh, we did it. We're victorious. Please. <laughs> so you you hit him a few times, and some blood comes out of his mouth, and he's like, "I don't understand. Why are you turning against Broken Rock, traitors? The lot of you." 
and uh, it is going to be... Uh... Can, I, can I make a retort since I did roll the successful death save? <laughs> no, you're unconscious. You have to roll uh, three successful death saves to stabilize, but you're still unconscious. It just means you won't die. As soon as I stabilize, I'm going to get real sassy. <laughs> so now it's Calderon's turn. Uh, he is going to um, take a rapier out and... Sorry. He takes out a, a great axe, not a rapier, and um, he swings uh, for his first attack and does uh, 18 points of damage to Keith. Uh, and he swings and slashes Keith in the back, and then he teleports uh, to where Anne is. And uh, he slashes up and does uh, 20 points of damage to Anne. And uh, she is uh, 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 knocked prone from his second attack. Um, you see that uh, um, Captain Skipglider smiles and he's like, I was wondering when you were going to step in, making me do all the work. Um, so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> what did you think would happen? I thought he would just, like, tell <laughs> us more information. What? You? T- I didn't actually hit him. I just demanded more information. You pulled your him. weapon on him. To so make him I- stop. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. So the, the, the big old bad dude came back? No, it was Keith's friend. Yeah. Um... But I didn't want all of this to happen. How are people teleporting now? When did that happen? Uh, So this character is the type of monster that he is. He's a... A a Nyat... Nyat... Oh, jeez. Whatever that term is. Uh, He's some sort of monster that has the ability to teleport after each attack. No, he's not a tiefling. He is a tiefling. uh, He's a tiefling who can teleport. He has other abilities outside of normal tiefling abilities. Um... So this uh, this character, he attacks uh, Keith, and you see Keith looks completely stunned, and he's like, "Why? Are you, what are you doing?" Uh, and we're gonna go back to the top of turn order, and it's gonna be Mady's turn. Okay. Can I like? I was gonna ask if I could tell how badly hurt um, what this new skip glider is. Yeah, uh, so go ahead and give me a uh, investigation check. I mean, you can okay. see that he's visibly hurt. Like, he's bleeding and he's cut. Okay, but I'm curious, like, how bad. So, okay, so 11 plus 2, 13. So you feel like um, he still has some fight in him, but probably not for much longer. Okay. Speaking All right. Speaking of fight in him, uh, that that's fire damage he took. Did none of that have an ongoing effect? Uh, no going burn? No. Uh, so, S- Skip Glider actually has a resistance to fire damage. So, he, took, he uh. takes damage, but he doesn't uh, get burned or anything like that. So, uh, go ahead and, uh, Mady, it's your turn. So, what would you like to do? Okay, well, I want to attack this uh, Keith's friend. Awesome. So, you're going to... Uh, so, he's behind you now. So, you'll need to disengage from uh, Skip Glider, or you can take an attack of opportunity to turn and, and fight. Uh... Oh, okay. Huh. All right. I, then I guess I just got to finish up with Kip, Skip Glider. Let's do, let's do, let's finish up with Skip Glider. Cool. All right. So it's a 15 plus six. Awesome. You hit. Okay. Okay. It's six plus three, nine. Awesome. So you hit him for nine points of damage. You want your second attack? Yes. Is he still standing? My God. 13 plus six. 19. And then a seven plus three, 10. Awesome. So you hit him for 19 points of damage total. Um, So um, this is round three. And I'm not done after this. I have and he changes thing. his cool. mind and he said, I'm so sorry. You're right. <laughs> I want to be part of your crew now. <laughs> uh, so what else did you want to do, uh, Mady? Okay, then I do want to turn and attack the other dude. I have a... Uh, I'll go ahead and take it. I have an action surge. I can take one additional action on my turn. 
Awesome. So you action surge and you turn to attack Calderon. Um, uh, Captain Skip Glider takes a swing at you. He hits. Um, he hits you for. Uh, I'm doing that right. Oh nope, I'm not. Uh, he hits you for eleven points of damage. Okay, even though my AC is is eighteen. Uh yes, because he rolled a twenty-seven. Okay, that's cool. Yikes! Yikes! Okay. yikes. <laughs> All good, y'all. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So. That, he rolled a twenty-six. Sorry, not twenty-seven. Oh, it would have been that doesn't cool. make yeah. sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm going after Calderon. So cool. I try to hit him with my hammer. Awesome, go for it. A nineteen plus six, so twenty-five. Awesome, you definitely hit. Okay. So did uh, Mady get damaged at all? Eleven. Uh, yes, yeah, she she took eleven points of damage. Gotcha. All right, and then let's see. So ten. Awesome. Ten so damage. you um, bring your hammer down on. Uh, uh, Captain Skip Glider twice and sort of break one of his uh, collarbones and you see he's looking really hurt and he's having a hard time holding his weapon with both hands uh, but he's able to attack you as you step away to swing at Calderon. You hit Calderon square in the chest and knock him back a little bit. Um, so now we're going to go to Keith. Um, he is going to um, attempt a medicine check on uh, uh, Martin. Who cares? <laughs> he's extremely oh. unsuccessful. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like, oh man, I don't really know what I'm doing. Pretty he's stupid like, boy. Trying to give you CPR. Um, and now it is going to be uh, Dirge's turn. You put in that work, Martin. <laughs> is uh, you're about your relationship. Now? He is... Power couples! Uh, so Dirge takes out a shield from his back. So now he's wielding the spear one-handed and using a shield. He's going to shield bash Arya, or attempt to shield bash Arya. Uh, does a 26 hit your AC? <laughs> no, actually. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's not uh, literally double my AC, no. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, so, hits who you... Is this? Um, Dirge, the, the captain. Uh, he shield bashes Arya um, and hits you for nine points of damage. Oof, I'm um, on the ground. He shield bashes you and knocks you unconscious uh, yeah. in that case. And um, who's left? Uh, yeah, who is who is left? Uh, Where's Fee? Fee heard the explosion. He takes his spear and he... <laughs> he takes his spear and he hurls it uh-huh. um, and it impales Anne uh, and Anne uh, is is, uh, is, st- is starting to bleed out uh, from his spear and you see Calderon looks at you matey and he's like what's it gonna be? Are you gonna die here? Or are you gonna surrender? So what kind of, why would we surrender? Like what am I gonna get out of that? Uh, he smiles and he's like, I'm hoping you would say that. Oh. Uh, so oh. now we go back to the top of the turn order and it's Mady's turn. All right. Wait, do I... I don't think I made a death save this time, right? Because... Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. That was just Dirge's turn. We haven't even got to the... Right, sorry. Uh, So so it's Anne's turn. She needs to make a death save. Anne. Um, Anne. She is successful. Um, and now it's going to be, uh, Wynn's turn, uh, so go ahead and make a death save. Well, that was a seven, so not good. Okay, is this your second failure? First. No. I have two successes, one failure. Okay, cool. Two successes, one failure, and now we're going to go to Martin, uh, make another death save. The six. Ugh. Is that your second failure? That's my second failure. Awesome, so two... Uh, failed death saves one successful save? Yes. Okay, and now we're going to go to Arya. Uh, so make your first death save. Can we redo this episode? <laughs> Start it over? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? 
<laughs> I asked if I could use my roll for a pose grapple. Uh, that didn't count. You know what? I did you dirty. So yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Okay. That was a 16 roll. <laughs> so. Cool. So you have one uh, successful death save. Um, it's now Calderon's turn. Um, he is uh, going to, um... Can I do something? Uh, I should have talked to him about committing treason! If you, ah! uh, what would you like to do? I want to taunt him. Okay, go for it. Be like, yeah, alright. So you, yeah, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. So go ahead, do your best. Uh, so he has his eyes set on Keith, and then when you say that, he turns to you, and he's like, oh yeah? Uh, and he is going to attack you. Um, uh, I'm stressed out in real life. Like, I just have uh, to say this. Like, yes, I'm typing in our so... group chat right now being like, I'm stressed out because I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, no, you're not. Does, does an 11 hit? I... No. Awesome. So he uh, is enraged uh. by you taunting him and swings wildly and misses. Um, he's going to attempt to attack you with his second attack, um, which is... Does a 12 hit? No. Awesome. So he swings again uh, and just it's like, stand still so I can kill you. Uh, and he <laughs> keeps swinging at you. Can you describe Calderon's physical traits just so I have a clear picture in my mind of this person who I desperately hate? Yeah, I want to sure. know exactly what he looks like. So Calderon is a red tiefling. Uh, he has a uh, necklace on, and on the necklace, since he's been moving around so much, it's been flailing, um, there is a um, a Destin's pin, a pin that's inside of like a locket, and the pin has singe marks on it. Um, he's wearing this like um, really dirty white shirt and he has um, baggy brown pants with uh, a um, um, like patch or little latch on his back where he hangs his hammer when he's not using it. Or his great axe when he's not using it. Um, so we're going to go back to the top of the turn order and it is Mady's turn now. All right. All right, Calderon, here comes my hammer. All right. So it's uh, 17 all in. Uh, a 17 does not hit Calderon. Ah, oh, okay. All right, well, I'm going to do it again. All right, 16, so no. That's adding everything together? Yeah, it's a 10 and a 6. Ah. Oh. Uh, did you have anything else that you wanted to do? I mean, can I? Um, do you have any bonus sections? Well, I have the one, the special action shirts, action surge that I already took. So no, I, there's something else that I can do. Mm -mm. Uh, so now it's Keith's turn. Uh, Keith looks over and he's like, hey, listen. He puts his weapons down and he's like, no. don't, don't kill her, all right? She's... No! She's important Keith, to me. Keith. The lizard was no! almost dead, Keith. Just, I yes! just, I just don't want any of my friends to die. All right, Calderon, we had something, man. I thought that we were friends. We had fun playing cards <laughs> together. At least the boy band hair does not bring intelligence. Um, so he's going to attempt a persuasion. Okay. Uh, so um, Calderon's like. I mean, I guess we don't have to kill them right now. Uh, and you see <laughs> Captain Skip Glider uh, wipes blood from his mouth and he's like, maybe we can kill at least one of them. I mean, they did hurt me pretty bad and kill all my men. And he looks over at Martin. Um, uh, you see Calderon's like, I don't really care. Um, so that is Keith's turn. It's Dirge's turn now. Um, he takes out some shackles and he looks at you matey and he's like so what's it gonna be uh, so he has the shackles in one hand and his spear in the other hand and he's like you choose I'm sorry you're gonna have to be a little more specific do you want to die or do you want to be imprisoned <laughs> well I mean Do 
You're going to have to fight me. Uh, he uh, puts the shackles away and he's like, a warrior spirit. I like that. And he's going to attack you again uh, with uh, with two hands on his spear this time. Um, so, Except if he has a broken collarbone. He does. Uh, so he's going to attack with disadvantage. Thank um, you. So he rolled a... <laughs> da, da, da. Does a 17 hit. No. Awesome. So he misses with his first one. Uh, he misses with his second one. And he misses with his third one. So uh, every time he tries to hit you, he favors that shoulder. And he's like, ah. Um, so he misses you all three times. Now we're going to go to Anne. Oh, wait. Save. I laugh and make a very rude gesture. <laughs> awesome. So you Whoa. are continuing to taunt him. Uh, Anne is successful on her second death save. Thank God. Um, and now we're going to go to Win. Uh, for your death save. 16! Yeah! Hey. So are you stabilized now? I am stable. All right, dope. So um, when uh, you feel this like energy leave your body um, and you are just unconscious, but you are out of the woods. Um, so now we're going to go to Martin for your death save. This this might be last time um, oh I god, see y'all. We got to no, the third one. Oh my god! If this doesn't work, I, I'm gonna miss all of you. And that's all for this now. Just. <laughs> 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 Would you like to know the number? No, just lie. Lie to us. <laughs> it's a two. Oh. That's the lie. Oh. <laughs> I rolled a 17! <laughs> hey. All right. Oh, my God. So is that is that two saves? That's two saves. All right. Two oh saves, God. two failures. Next <laughs> round is going to decide Martin's fate. Um, uh. So now it's Arya's turn. Uh, I believed you. Uh, oh. what? <laughs> mm. What'd you get? Eleven. Did... Eleven? Is this your second save? That's right. Uh, I did so much heaving. It... Oh. So uh, Calderon is going to attack Mady. Calderon already did his uh, things because he taunt because uh, Mady taunted. Uh, that was on his last turn. Um, so but Mady didn't do her things this turn, and she's at the top of the turn order. She did. Um, missed Calderon. So he Calderon. misses his first attack, and he misses his second attack. Dang. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Mady, you are holding your own against both uh, Captain Skip Glider and Calderon. Uh, a freaking legend, Mady, is just like battling them both by herself. The last um, human! We, pi we picked the, the right human. The oh, last man. human. So now we're going to go back to the top of the turn order. Mady, it's okay. your turn again. I, and I'm engaged with both of them, right? That's correct. So they're close enough now that you can hit either of them. All right. They're then I would like you. to put my hammer down, get my two of my, uh, wait, let's see, my two hand axes out and try to hit them both at the same time. Uh -huh. Okay, awesome. So go ahead and roll both of your attacks at the same time. Okay, so two d20s. And add your attack modifier for your hand axe. All right, I got a 17 plus six and a seven plus six. Uh, so, uh, so one of those misses. Uh, you decide who you want to hit, because you can hit them. I want to hit Calderon. Okay, awesome. So you roll damage on hitting Calderon. Okay. I figure the, what's his name? Skip Glider is less uh, strong. Okay, so seven, right. 10. I mean, but so also- So taking him out Dirge, would be a good choice. Dirge, Dirge is, a, is, a, is, yeah, he's still alive and he's still got a spear that hits three times if he hits you. 
I, awesome. Listen, I did. I did what I did. You're you're out. <laughs> I am dead. So, I am dead. I'm 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 backseat. Uh, you're only mostly dead. So so <laughs> ten. Right. Mady puts down uh, her great great uh, axe. Great hammer. Great war hammer. hammer. That's what I thought. Her With war the hammer. Hand axes. And pulls out her hand axes, uh, swinging ferociously at both, and slices uh, Calderon. Um, across the chest, and when you do, you cut off that um, necklace that he was wearing. And you see he scrambles to get it. Um, so now we're going to go to Keith. He spends oh, no, we're not. a turn. Oh, spends no, we're not. A turn. Oh, cool. I, get, I can attack twice. That counted a one attack, right? No, uh, so I, I let you use both of your attacks at the same time to make attack, because an attack on, on separate enemies is two actions. So you need to take an action to attack each enemy. Wait, wait, but if she's using one in her offhand, it's a bonus action because it's two weapon fighting. Oh. It is. Yeah. Well, so yeah, it's one it's been... action to hit with one hand. The bonus is the other, but I don't think you get your strength modifier, but you do get your proficiency. And then you can attack again with one hand. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you get another attack. That's awesome. Thank you for knowing rules. <laughs> okay. So... I think, is maybe a two weapon fighter anyway, or no? She's a fighter. Uh... But I have two-handed weapons and single-handed weapons. Uh, no, that's fine. There's an oh, wait. There's like a bonus you can take that's two weapons. Oh, no, I have okay. like, I have great, I have a great weapon. Okay, fighter. okay, never mind. Then. Oh, which is interesting. You can reroll a one or two on damage dice with melee weapons wielded with two hands, though. Buddy, have hey. you been doing? That's the whole point of that. <laughs> no. <but. laughs> So we need to redo this whole battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll for your second attack. <laughs> okay. All right, so it's, can I do the same thing again, or do I? Yeah. You can't that? use the second hand because okay. that's the bonus action and you only okay. get one per round. Okay, all right, so, okay, so I can have, all right. So, okay, this is my second attack. I'm gonna attack Calderon again. I got a 20. And that 20? Nat 20. Hell yes! yeah. Okay, so go ahead and roll double damage uh, to you attack Calderon. All right, so is that two D8s? So whatever your damage die is for your hand axe, uh, roll that twice. Oh, my heart is beating really hard in real life. Dang. I uh, know, right? Okay, 1D6. Let's see. Okay. Okay. All right. I rolled a six, so nine. Awesome. So wait, wait. You, you rolled roll six twice? once, but you're oh. supposed to roll it twice. Sorry. Or double the six. I don't always remember what the roll is. So do I, okay, so I roll again? Mm -hmm. Yes. And a three. Uh, so three. nine altogether, right? No, that's well. nine plus uh, six, which is 12. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So Sorry. you- uh, No, no, that's, no, wait, nine plus six, that's actually 15. No, no, no. She rolled a six and a three plus her strength, which is three, right? So yeah. six plus six is 12. Awesome. Okay. So you um, you bring your hand axe down and you slash uh, uh, at Calderon, cutting him a little bit more. And a um, little bit more. Uh, I mean, uh, it's two on one. So now we're going to go to Keith. Um, so he sees that like surrender's not an option and he's gonna take his weapons and um since he's been like in the background he's going to try to sneak attack um uh uh Captain Skiplider. This brilliant stupid boy I know. <laughs> okay, uh so uh Keith uh charges up to Captain Sk Skip Glider, but uh misses and gets knocked prone. Um, <laughs> he just trips and falls. He rolled really, really badly. Um, uh, so... He wasted a whole round trying to not fight, and then you fail at coming back. Uh, so Dirge uh... is going to uh, miss and miss again. I'm having second thoughts oh. about his power, his his ability to contribute to a power couple. And just... Dirge is going to hit Keith once. He's a trophy. He's a trophy husband. 
uh, he has for proven his worth at different points. Eleven points of. I'm damage. choosing to forget all of that in favor of what's currently <laughs> happening right now. Uh, so uh, after Keith misses, Dirge kind of comes down with the back of his trident and bashes Keith in twice. <laughs> Keith's looking <laughs> up or hurt, really hurt. Uh, so <laughs> he's looking really hurt. Uh, <laughs> Keith is looking really hurt, and uh, when he gets hit, <laughs> um, he coughs up some blood. And uh, and he's not in a good way. So we're gonna go to um, Anne. She has her deaf fail, a deaf save failure. Um, <laughs> so now it is Wynn's turn. Uh, you're stabilized, right? Yeah, I don't. I can't do anything. Mm-mm. So now it's if Martin's. if I lay here for eight hours, I'll get my hit points back. So <laughs> that's fine. So <laughs> just leave you there, Martin. Um, it's time for us to find out what your fate is. I I have to leave the room. <laughs> <sighs> no modifiers, just a flat d twenty. That's right. Guys, if Martin dies, we have to start paying attention to money again. <laughs> I think nine. Martin died. That's a nine? <gasps> oh. That's a nine. So, um, matey, as you are fighting, you hear Martin gasp. Uh, as you, um hear Martin wheezing, you see that something strange starts to come out of his mouth and uh, a bunch of coins start to trickle out uh, um, of his mouth as his head turns to the side. And um, Martin, you are in this abyss um, and you're falling through money, piles and piles of money. Every time you hit a pile, you burst through. And... um, Suddenly, your pockets are empty. A feeling that you haven't felt in your whole life, as far as you can remember. And you see the face of someone you don't recognize. It's a young boy, and he's playing in the yard with a uh, man and a woman who are smiling. Uh, and they, there's a familiar resemblance amongst the three of them. Um, and you see the, the man looks at you and he's like, my son, come home. And he's reaching his hand out to you. So it's, it's, do it, do it. So it, it's, it's just him reaching out his hand. Is there anything other context? Is it like come home or I don't know, try to fill my pockets? What, what are, what are the... So the money that you were falling through and all the money that you had in your system that magically came to you is all gone. It's just you so in this just... dark void and you see this man as you're falling. He's below you, reaching up to you, telling you to come home. Okay, Dad. I reach out my hand. And as the two of you, uh, your hands connect, um, we're going to cut back to uh, Arya. It's your turn now. Um, so go ahead and make a death save. Three. So that's one failure. That's only one? Wow. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to Calderon um, now. And he is going to... Uh, a 19 hits you, matey? Yes. Okay, so he hits you uh, and a uh, 23 hits. Um He's going to hit you twice. Um, uh, okay. Uh, he hits you for 29 points of damage. Well, I'm unconscious. Uh, so, matey, you are battling with all of your might. Uh, and you look over and see... Um, uh, Captain Skip Glider um, beating uh, uh, Keith, and as you turn back toward Calderon, um, he brings his um, great uh, great axe down, and uh, all you see is darkness. Um, and all of you have been knocked unconscious. Um, everyone has been 
defeated in battle, uh, Martin has died. And this is where we're going to end for today um, on this episode of Realms and Roleplay Sovereign of Death. What's going to happen? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is This might just be the end of the show. I don't know. But you should so come sad. back next time to find out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, we appreciate you all. And we look forward to seeing what happens next time. We'll see you later. Bye.